Today we're going to talk about the algebra of polynomials, at least uh, the entry-level things you need to know. First of all, let's take a polynomial such as 3x squared minus 2x plus 3. Each of the entities, 3x squared, for example, is called a term. The next, the minus 2x part, also an example of a term. In other words, the term ha doesn't have to have an x squared, it could just have an x, and also we have a plus 3, also called a term. Notice that these terms are separated by plus and minus signs. And I have the, uh, the second circle for the negative 2x, including the negative sign because the minus sign would be considered part of the term, indicating that the minus 2 coefficient is negative. And what's a coefficient? Well, I thought you'd never ask. So if we look at the 3x squared term, the 3 in the 3x squared term is a, is a coefficient. The minus 2 in the second term, also a coefficient. And the x squared and the x are also called variables. Well, since they're both x, they're both the same variable. The last term, the plus 3, doesn't have an x in it, and so we refer to it as a constant or a constant term. Now we're going to talk about kinds of polynomials. Um, we have here an example like 2a and x squared. Now there's nothing before or after the term. There could be a minus sign before the 2a or before the x squared. That would just change the value of the coefficient. Either way, there's nothing nothing else separated by plus and minus signs so since we're just taking 2a by itself or either that or x squared by itself these are called monomials and they consist of one term the second example is where we have two terms separated by either a plus or a minus sign and these are called binomials because they consist of two terms so we have a w plus 9b, x squared minus 2d. So sometimes the variables can be squared or, in fact, raised to any power you wish. And the other term could be a constant or a term with a different variable or maybe even the same variable as long as it's not the same power. If you cannot reduce these terms any further, if you cannot reduce them, then they're called binomials. They're irreducible. In other words, you cannot combine w plus 9b into one term because w and b are different variables and you have to keep them separate. Trinomials. These consist of tr three terms. So we can have a plus 2b minus 3c. Notice nothing is raised to any power. Or you can have something like x squared, which has a power, minus 5x plus 12. That's another trinomial. And then when we go to four or more terms, then we have polynomials. Polynomials have more than three terms, or if you like, more, four or more terms. And they consist of like two examples I have here uh, are AX, a squared minus 2a plus 3b plus 9. So they can have multiple variables or maybe all the same variable and maybe one or more, well, not one or more constants, but one constant term. Uh, once again, these cannot be irreducible. For example, x squared plus 5x cannot be reduced. You can't add x squared to 5x because x is squared. So if x is an unknown, you certainly don't know what it is when it's squared. So you can't combine x squared plus 5x unless you know what x is. And then you have plus 12 minus 3d uh, to complete the picture here. Um, uh, for that second example of a polynomial. We're going to talk about now simplifying polynomials. So just like 5 plus 5 is 2 times 5, then we can also say x plus x is 2 times x. So that's one example of how we can combine terms. x and x are the same, really the same term added to itself. And so we can make 2x out of it. But in a similar way, we can also do 5 plus 2 times 5, which is really the same as 3 times 5, because it's kind of the same as 5 plus 5 plus 5, right? 
So we can say that it's 3 times 5. So similarly, x plus 2 times x is kind of like saying x plus x plus x, which is 3 times x, or 3x. And of course, subtraction can be simple, is another way, uh, you know, there's ways of simplifying there as long as the terms are what we say like terms, meaning that both terms contain the same variable or both terms are constant. Uh, we can have 2x minus x equals x. We can have 3x minus 2x equals x. Or x minus 2x, which is like saying, you know, 1 times x minus x. So x minus x is 0, but we're minusing x again. So that's just negative x. That's what it is when we subtract. How about if we have 4x minus 7x? So 4x minus 7x, if we think of a number line where we have a 4, which is 4 more than 0, and we count backwards because we're subtracting 7x, we land on minus 3. So 4x minus 7x is minus 3x. Now, okay, what about 2x plus 4 plus 3x minus 1? How about if we let it go a little bit more than that? So 2x plus 4 plus 3x minus 1. We can gather our like terms. Like terms meaning the terms containing the x's. So 2x and 3x can be gathered together and placed as the first two terms. So that's 2x plus 3x because they're both positive. And then we notice what's left over is a minus, is, sorry, is a positive 4 and a negative 1. So we add 4 and we take away 1. So 2x plus 3x is 5x, and 4 minus 1 is 3. It, now, the thing is, if we think of 2x plus 3x, we can also think of 2 times a number plus 3 times the same number. So if we have 2 times a number and 3 times the same number, it's like 5 times the same number.